Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Baba. I run the Meast Food Trailer. I've been asked by a bunch of my friends to start doing cooking classes and uh, share my recipes. My family is Jordanian Palestinian, so food's a big part of our lives. And yeah, I just want to share with you. So today we're going to do a tahini tomato parsley salad with some fish. I don't have a dedicated camera person for this show just yet. Um, so I'm doing it myself. Hence, I'm going to bend down when I need to talk to you guys. Uh, but the rest of the time, you're just going to see the food, hopefully. I can move it. Okay, so I have snapper fillet here. It is product of Australia. Freshly caught. I like to buy local. So. Mmm. So, so you're just cutting it in half. So this will serve two people. Just cutting it so, like so. Okay, you're putting it into this plate here. So I made Arabic spice mix. Okay, so it's got cumin, so half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of mixed spice, uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. You then will put a bit of a lemon, half a lemon, chop it up, squeeze it on, and just let that sit for a little bit. I use cumin seeds today because I ran out of ground cumin, so I just use my pestle and mortar just to ground it down. Still tastes just as fabulous. Just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle all over. It's got the salt. I'm gonna use the same knife for the lemon because it's gonna be used for the fish. It's no issue and on the same chopping board. So cut that in half, quarters, these pieces, just squeeze all over, squeeze it. Just mixing it with my hands, eat with your hands. Okay, so just set that aside. What we're gonna do now is create the Arabic tahini salad. So this always goes with fish. I'm using hulled tahini, make sure it's hulled Unhulled, it's like a darker brown, not as tasty in my opinion, but there you go. So I've got a third of a cup, so you want two of these for the tahini. Just fill that up. That is glorious. People ask me what tahini sauce is. Uh, it's actually sesame seeds crushed up, so it's sesame seed paste. You want to add cold water to that. I'm just going to add it from my tap because it doesn't really matter. All gonna go in my tummy. Cool. Then we're just whisking this with a fork. Just like it changes the color of it. So you need to whisk. So it will start turning white, it'll clump and then it will go white. And that's when you know that it's really good. It's gonna be quite thick because when we add the tomatoes in, um, it's gonna have liquid in it, obviously. So you don't need to. Actually, I would use. Use two of these to two of the tahini just because it is actually quite thick. See, I don't really measure, I just go by feel. Um, so I'm kind of just getting the measurements for you today just to make life a bit easier for you. Okay, I'll show you the consistency now. It just needs a little bit more to mix in. Use a fork because it's a lot easier, you get less clumps and you know, my mum always gives me a lecture if I use anything else. <laughs> okay, so this is the consistency here. Can you see? Still quite thick. Ugh. Yeah, still quite thick, but it's beautiful. Like the colour's like a bit more white than when you first got the tahini. Cool. Then you're going to add half a lemon. Okay, just half a lemon. Alrighty. Make sure to get out all the pips because people don't want to eat that. I just go like this so I catch any of the pips in my hand. But the thing with this dish, you have to taste it. So taste to see if it's salty enough or if it needs more lemon. If it needs more lemon, add more. If it needs more salt, add another pinch. For me, I like it quite lemony. So it just really depends. So I'm just mixing in that lemon now. Alright, salt. 
My sister used this fancy Celtic sea salt, but feel free to use Himalayan salt, table salt, any type of salt, it doesn't really matter. I'm just putting one teaspoon in there, but if you like it saltier, add more. Okay. So, I'm just going to taste it. Good. Needs a bit more lemon. Just add that in. And just mix. That's pretty awesome now. I use a spoon because you're going to go, oh, she double dipped. But I'm at home, it's for me. Yeah, good. Cool. Set that aside. Now, chopping tomatoes. Normal tomatoes, I'm using about four. Depends how tomato you want it. Just chop it in half and then just take the seeds out. If you want, if you want it to be juicy, keep it in. We're just cubing them now. So I'll show you how big I want them. Like that size. You dig? So we're cutting four of these. Because I love my tomato. And we're also going to add one piece of garlic. It just gives it a lot of flavour. Just going to add that to my tahini. I'll show you. I'll mix it all through so you can see it. Alright. I've finished chopping. So here is my tomatoes. I'll just put this last one in. You're going to mix that in a sec. But first, I'm going to add the garlic. One clove of garlic. Don't put any more because you're going to have really bad breath afterwards. Just finely chopped. I'll show you the consistency once I've chopped it. Uh, just doing it finely chopped so you don't get like big chunks. You can even mash it up if you want in a pestle and mortar, but I actually like a bit of texture. There you go. You see? Finely chopped. I'm just putting that on the side. You can't see it, but I'm putting it in there. Now we've got parsley. Flat leaf, love of God, flat leaf. You just gotta wash it now. Just about, just the top bit, right? Depends how much you like parsley. I love parsley. As fine as you want it, I like it quite thick. There, did you see? So pretty. Okay. So we're gonna mix this. Mmm, -mm, delicious. I'm going to mix that all in, make sure it's really well mixed. See, because I've put out of the tomatoes, it gets a lot more watery, but this is everything. So just mixing this now. Oh my God, it's so good. All right. There you go. See, look at that deliciousness. Wish I could like do it properly, but it's Arabic tahini salad. So you set that aside. We are going to cook the fish now. Basically, you've got the frying pan on with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I'm getting the heat really hot. Here is the fish. Use plain flour. I didn't have any, so I'm, or if you want to be gluten free, that's what I'm using. Um, some golden flaxseed flour. So just do that. Tap it. All good. Then put it in here. To start cooking so it's just going to cook for a bit it's quite a thick piece so give it a maybe two three minutes on each side get that going oh, such good fish look at the color my god all right let's put in the next one i'm gonna i'm doing this one-handed though so God, look at that, it's beautiful. So pretty. Okay, one handed. Oh God. Okay. So, that's gonna cook for a few more minutes. Guys, that's the finished product. So, a bit of fish with my tahini salad. You can eat it with some pita bread. That's it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you want to have this recipe or any others, please just tune in. I will give you any info that you want on recipes 
that are not in our food trailer. If you want specific recipes, uh, Arabic dishes that you want me to make, please let me know and I will endeavor to put them on the video. And please don't forget that I do at home cooking class parties. So if you'd like to book, just get in touch. I'm off to eat. See ya.